In this video, we are going to explain everything you need to know about racing boots, the different brands, the different types that are available, and how to get the perfect racing boot for you. To start with, there are two main types of racing boots for slightly different disciplines. You have boots designed for karting and boots designed for car racing. Now they look largely the same, and of course they do the same job, but karting boots generally are designed to be durable and work in all weather conditions, whereas racing boots, their primary purpose is to keep you safe in the event of fire. There's a slight price difference associated between karting boots and car racing boots as well, with karting being slightly on the more affordable end. You can pick up a set of karting boots from anywhere between 65 to 250 pounds, and car racing boots, you're gonna be starting at about 90 pounds, all the way up to about four or 500 pounds. This increase in price with the car racing boots is due to the materials they have to use to keep them heat and fire resistant. So once you've got your racing boots and you've been using them for a while, they generally wear out in one of four places. They either wear out on the heel, where it rubs against the heel stop or against the floor tray. They can also wear out on the sides, either again on the outside or the inside, where your feet rub against the pedals or the inside of the car. And also the soles. They can either peel away from the main area where the glue fails, or alternatively, they can just wear out on the sole from actually pressing the pedal. Generally, the better quality the boot, the less it's gonna wear out and the longer it will last. Now, these boots I've gotten right in front of me here are an example of a suede leather boot, and I've had these for many years and they've done me really well. Um, and these are car racing boots, so they've also got that fire retardant lining as well. And you'll find this with almost all racing boots. They have a uh, material on the outside and then, of course, the fire resistant inside. Now, you can also get normal leather boots uh, for car racing. And then in karting, you can either get leather or suede boots, but most karting boots are made of plastic materials for the longevity and also acts as kind of a waterproof barrier. Most racing boots and karting boots will come with laces just like any other shoe. However, you can get some boots which have laces and then a Velcro flap over the top just to look extra fast. And I think you can also get slip-in versions as well, but that's all personal preference. I prefer a boot with proper laces so you can lace it up tight to your foot. Now, the single most important thing when buying a pair of racing boots, whether they're your first set of racing boots or whether they're a new set to you, is trying on to make sure you get the perfect fit. I'd recommend going into a shop and trying on different brands and sizes available because it might slightly differ from the size of shoe that you use for normal everyday trainers. Especially with racing boots, they're a bit more expensive potentially than your average pair of shoes, so you want to get it just right. You want your racing boots to have a nice snug fit, but not too tight. And also, if you are buying a leather boot like I've got with these, but these are very much not new as you can see, leather boots can actually break in a little bit, which means that once you've worn them a few times, the leather relaxes and it, and it loosens out a little bit. So just bear that in mind if you are gonna go for a natural leather type of boot. So we've spoken about size, fits, and the different materials available for boots, but there's also loads of different brands available on the markets. Brands you've heard of such as Alpine Stars, Sparco, Puma, but there's also some more niche racing brands as well, stuff like Stan 21 OMP, and most of these boots will be fine, but I would recommend going with a brand that you have heard of or that you've seen other people wear. Now, all these brands effectively make very similar boots, so the style and price of boot is completely up to you in your situation. But I definitely, as I mentioned earlier, would recommend trying on different racing boots because some of them, the shape might not fit your foot exactly. And there's also options out there available for you to get custom boots that match your suit, design, or your racing team. You can get your name on from companies like HRX or Custom Racewear. I've got a few recommendations before the next time you go out and buy another set. First of all, definitely choose comfort over style. It's all well and good having a flash looking pair of boots, but if they don't give you the feel on the pedals and they're uncomfortable, they're not gonna do the job. Secondly, when choosing your boots, Colour, of course, is a personal preference, but I would recommend going with a darker colour if you know that you want these boots to last. White boots and light coloured boots can look old quite quickly, but darker coloured boots, they don't show the dirt and grime as much, so you'll look smarter even if they are getting a bit old. Thirdly, go for the best quality set of boots that you can reasonably afford. I know it's, it's, it's a cliche, but buy cheap, buy twice. For example, I got these really high quality Puma boots in 2016, I think, and I've worn them pretty much every race I've done since then, so well over a couple of hundred races in the wet and dry conditions, and they're still going. They might not look pretty, but they still get the job done, and that's because they're a really good quality pair of boots. For the younger viewers out there, if you're still growing, you're gonna be going through more boots as your feet grow. So potentially you might be able to get away with a slightly cheaper pair. I mentioned it before, but the reputable brands are the ones to go for. If you haven't heard of the brand, or you don't see anyone else wearing it, you're not gonna be sure as to whether it's going to last. Finally, once you find a brand or specific style of boot that you like, just stick with it. 
So that should be everything you need to know about racing boots and hopefully you've learned something today that will help you choose the best boots for you next time you're out shopping for some racing boots. If you've liked this video, make sure to subscribe because we've got more content like this coming soon. And you might also like this video here about racing helmets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.